Hi guys, I am Wizarding World of Harry Potter YouTuber Victoria McLean and today is all about Insight Editions. <laughs> laugh right one is life and two is thinking how stupid I look laughing at myself when I do these videos oh my god it's so funny if you'd like to see what insight books have sent me then keep on watching if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then make damn sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the all-important notification bell as well let's get started <gasps> so I'm knackered, but before I tell you why, uh, at the moment I am using my beautiful Ravenclaw Diadem Wand from Warner Brothers. I love this wand so much, it is so, so, so beautiful, um, and it's also, it's, I'm so proud, because I am obviously a very proud Ravenclaw. The only thing I don't like about it is that these are plastic and not crystal or glass, otherwise I think it would be perfect, because I know Swarovski do crystals that colour, because I have them, but as I always say, I'm going to put it back before I break it. Oh my god, I am so tired. I am so, so, so tired. It is half past two in the afternoon, and see, I have had Channel 4 here since eight o'clock this morning. Um, and I've been up since six o'clock this morning because they are doing a um, series called Abs uh, Totally Obsessed. And obviously I'm totally obsessed with Harry Potter. Um, so I've, I've, I've loved it. You know I love talking about what I love. And what I loved about them, Jen and Connor, is that they wanted to focus on me as a YouTuber because I've turned my passion into my job. And it, as I was saying to Connor, there's not many companies and TV prep companies out there that will allow you to talk about YouTube because it's advertising. So it's, it's very, the, the amount of times I'm doing interviews and they hush that part up, it's quite hard. And because I, I love what I do, I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter, a massive fan of Harry Potter, it is in my blood. And I love my job, I love bringing the magic to people, that doing this job has, has brought so much joy to me. And being able to talk about that in an interview was huge. They even filmed me doing an intro. It was just so lovely to do. So Connor and Jennifer, thank you so much for coming. You guys were so, so lovely and I really hope you have a safe trip back to to, Ed, uh, to Glasgow, not Edinburgh, uh, because you'd come all the way down from Glasgow yesterday. I'm so grateful. The series is called Totally Obsessed and will be airing, I think they're starting at Christmas. Um, I'm not sure where it's going to be, so I will obviously let you guys know as soon as my episode is up. It's only going to be very short, but it was so much fun to do. I got to show my, talk about my collection, you know, talk about my obsession. So it's always good. This is why I started YouTube for crying out loud. So I loved it. Now today is about Insight Books. These com this company do a lot of Harry Potter books and they have sent me a lovely array of books to share with you. So. I will open it. I don't know what they've sent me. They've sent me a list of like 10 books and I said just, you know, send me whatever you like to send me. So I don't know what they have sent and I can't really tell what it is through this. So I'm going to open it now. The Insight Editions do all like loads of like the Harry Potter film books and things like that and like the character vaults and stuff like that. So it's I love what they do. I was quite surprised when I got contacted. As Harry Potter fans love our books, that's for sure. They've packed these really, really well. But I got knackered. I've had four cups of coffee and it's only half past two. I am so tired. <laughs> oh my God, so, so, so tired. So let's get into this. Right, okay, so, oh. So here we have the parcel. Oh, and I can see a picture of Dobby. Janice, you'll be proud. There's a picture of Dobby. Uh, so let's have a look. They sent me all of these books here. So let's have a look. Right, for immediate release contact. Okay, so we've got... So Harry Potter Insight Editions. At the moment, they're doing Harry Potter Holiday Magic Advent Calendar. Um, this one has actually been quite popular with people, this calendar down here. So if you can see it there. 
I've seen a couple of people do um, unboxings of those. I, as I've always, as I've said to you, I'm not going to do many unboxings of calendars this year because there's so many people out there doing it. And I have got so many boxes to unbox, you have no idea. And it's getting bigger. It's because it's coming up to Christmas. So many companies want us to do unboxings. And so obviously I do have a massive list of companies to work with. Um, so we've got Harry Potter Wand Magic, Harry Potter Watercolour Magic, Harry Potter Knitting Magic, love it, Harry Potter Film Vault, the complete series. I do have some of those. We've got um, Harry Potter Gryffindor, the official colouring book, Harry Potter Hufflepuff Slytherin, uh, Ravenclaw colouring book, Harry Potter Magical Meditations meditations oh that's different so i do i have showed a brief sort of this one so i do have that on my instagram and i think i might have done it on my channel i can't remember but then we have oh film vault look at that one how beautiful is that box set there so wow that looks amazing and then we have the coloring bits which i think are in this pack so the first book I brought, brought brings to my attention, brought the first book brought to my attention. I can't even talk, and I look so pale today as well. So we've got, I think I've got one of these. Um, we've got Harry Potter Magical Creatures, a movie scrapbook. So this one is beautiful. It's look at that. That's like the 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 book version of Harry and Dobby. So how beautiful is that picture there look at how cute dobby is i know janice would love that that is stunning and i've just seen on the back of the book is a niffler oh my god anything with a niffler do you know what right i've got a problem with nifflers i took uh, connor and jennifer up to my bedroom it sounds rude but it wasn't i promise uh, to show them my nifflers again to the wrong person that sounds rude <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh my goodness it was so much fun because at the back of my bed is all these nifflers all these teddy nifflers i love my nifflers so much i mean you'd never have guessed obviously but look at this i think this i have an original one of this i think i don't know i'm sure i have this but it's not a fantastic beast version this has got fantastic beast stuff in it as well so this is love oh my god look at aragog look at the size difference of aragog there that's ridiculously huge that's crazy. He was massive, wasn't he? Oh, look at those little nifflers! Oh my god, it's little stickers! Oh my god, look at those! <laughs> that is so cute! And you got little picket up there as well, look! Oh, I love the baby nifflers! Oh my god, you got Frank as well and Dobby! And obviously Hedwig as well! You got companions! Oh wow, I love that! Look at that, is that a sticker or a card? It's a print of the Monster Book of Monsters. Now I actually have a print of this that was sent to me about maybe 10 years ago, maybe a little bit less, and it's signed by somebody, and I don't know who, I need to dig it out really, because it's in one of my trunks in the, in the front room. I'm gonna have to dig that out and have a look. We've got pictures of forks. Uh, we've got, the, in the classroom, we've got the pixies there as well. Uh, we've got, oh, look at Buckbeak, or should we say Weatherwings, of course, because um, Buckbeak doesn't exist, um, to keep him safe. But how beautiful is that? I love the books when they do the little inserts as well. In the forest, we've got how they made Aragog. We've got Thestrals. We've got dragons. Do you know that scene with the Ukrainian iron belly in Gringotts? Even though it escapes, it really hurts my heart because they're shaking that thing to kind of make it think that it's going to be tortured, and it makes me feel really sad. But it gets, it gets, it gets released. It gets released into the wild, and it's okay. We've got like a patch there. That's cool. We've got the dragon. We've got two dragons from Goblet of Fire, and it's on like a fabric patch. So that's quite nice, there, isn't it? That's very different. Or oh, like that, the Tri Wizard. Oh, that's a piece of sticker as well, I think. Oh, look at that, the Triwiz Tragedy. Yeah, Triwizard Tragedies. Oh my god. That's really bad, isn't it? <laughs> so, what else have we got in here? We've got Grindelos, we've got Mermaids. Oh, we've got Salazar Slytherin just there. 
and the basilisk. We've got a whole section of Dobby Janice, so you know he has been included. Look at that. I bet Creature's not in here though. Oh, we've got a whole like booklet about, ooh, Battle of Hogwarts, the darkest creatures. You've got a mini book there. Look at that. That's really cool. That's very cool. That's so wicked. Wow. I definitely haven't seen this book before. I've got to be honest. I thought I had. And this is all about Fantastic Beasts. This section here. And then we've got, of course we have to have the Nifflers just there. Oh my God, Nifflers and me. I like teepees in a Niffler pod. Just cute. Archimedes Demi guises. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. We have what looks like a cover of the book Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. How stunning is that? Love it. A rampant Thunderbird. I love Frank. Frank's one of my favourite creatures in Fantastic Beasts. I think I love him more than Pickett. I know it's bad because people love Pickett, but I do love him. He's gorgeous. And then that is it. And then at the back we have a, pi a picture of Hedwig with the acceptance letter. So that's a really, really nice book. So the next book I've got is Harry Potter Watercolour Magic. So that is a beautiful looking book. It's quite, um, oh wow, that's really cool. Okay, it's almost like they're drawn. So they look like they've actually been drawn, but they're obviously not on the book, but it looks very clever and it gives you obviously the content there. It gives you the, the watercolors that you'll need, the color matching there, master color chart. This is a good idea. It's almost like a painting by numbers. Oh, the different uh, paint brushes you need. And it gives you like the, the sorting hat guide. Look at the difference in colour, the way it's been done. That's really clever. Platform nine and three quarter sign, the happy birthday cake from Hagrid. Oh, we've got the Gryffindor crest. How good is that? So for those budding artists in you, that's brilliant. Oh my God, look at that. They look like drawings. How beautiful is that? It looks like drawings. <gasps> Death Eater mask. So you can paint them yourself. You don't have to draw them, you just paint them. And they're so finely drawn that you don't need to worry about like the, the lines and things. Oh my God, if you're really worried about things, look how simple that howler is. Look at that, isn't that brilliant? This is so good. So these are Bring the Wizarding World to Life with 32 ready to paint projects. That is so, so brilliant. I love it, that's such a lovely idea. I have these amazing house proud colouring books. So I think I will have to do a giveaway for these because I'm never going to use them myself but they are brand new, they've just been released and I think it would be brilliant to give them away for one of you. So keep a lookout for that giveaway. I will do a giveaway for all four books. So we have got Harry Potter, the official colouring book for Hufflepuffs. Then we have the official colouring book for my favourite house, Ravenclaw. So let's have a look. So we've got people in here. You've got Ollivanders. You've got the room of requirements when they're running away from the room of requirements when uh, Goyle says the bloody place on fire. We've got the Yule Ball with Flitwick and Christmas in the Yule Ball. Oh, wow. How beautiful would that be to draw, to, uh, to paint, or to at least with pencils. You've got Gilderoy Lockhart, who was a Ravenclaw, and Harry and Ron from the Chamber of Secrets. And then the next one then, we have the official colouring book for Gryffindor. So this would have different things in. So you've got Nearly Headless Nick, the ghost of Gryffindor. You've got, it looks like the Gryffindor common room there. You can probably see it better on the screen than I can. We've got Harry, look at that one, showing Ron his scar. Isn't that brilliant? We've got the, what's that there? That's the ticket, the Hogwarts Express ticket. That's really beautiful. And of course it has a little bit about house pride behind there. 
And then the last one, my other house, is Slytherin as well. So, oh, look how handsome those Slytherins are. Look at that. Oh, look at them. Drake, Goyle and Crab just there. Drake? Drake? I said Drake, didn't I? Draco, you know what I mean. Uh, so what else? Have we got anything cool in it? Oh, 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 wow. Look at that. Potions Classroom and, of course, Professor Snape. And then what else? We've got Crab and Goyle. Those two as well. Handsome boys. <gasps> That's what I was wondering. Is there a Slytherin common room in there? Yes, there is. Look at that for those budding Slytherins out there. How beautiful is that? So you guys could win those. So make sure you check out everything. Um, when I do do the giveaway, it won't be yet. We have already have a giveaway running where you can win a signed copy of Ivana Lynch's new book signed by Ivana Lynch herself, Lena Lovegood. So make sure that you check out all those details below. So what did you think of these books? I think actually, I've got to be honest, my favourite one, I think has to be the watercolour print. I think that book is brilliant. It's such a fantastic idea and it's so simple. You've even got ways, you can do the love potion and the Marauders map. Uh, what else is there? You've got Slytherin as well, just there. What else is there? Let's have a look. They, are, they look just like someone's drawn them just on the book. It's amazing. And of course we have, we have Dobby just there. And who else do we have? We've got the Marauders map. I just saw something really cool. Where's that gone? We've got the golden egg from the Triwizard Cup. This is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I love it. It's so good and so simple. It makes it look like, you can even do this, it makes it look easy to do. And the thing is, by the looks of it, in this book is everything you'll need, other than obviously the paints and the brushes, of course. But it's everything you'll need to actually do those prints. Absolutely love that. That's really nice. So I may even give that a go myself. So definitely, definitely look out to win those amazing four house books. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of these books. I will put all the links down below so you can get hold of them yourself or at least put links to them. Until next time, take care. I love you all and I'll speak to you very, very soon. my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe